Hello everybody, it's Wednesday, which means it's time for comic time. I am your host, Rainbow Red Panda, and I just got off work. I was I tried to do this vlog before I went to work and I just I didn't have enough time. I don't know, I I just failed at timing today. So I'm doing it now. Um I got back from the comic book store a long time ago. I've read a couple of the comics that I got today at work. Um, the ones that I've read, I've really enjoyed, so I will share with you. I have two piles. I have one that's all new stuff, and then I have one that's old stuff that just came in for me today. So here's what I got. Um, I got, the one that I'm probably most excited about that I've read so far is the first X-Men. It came out today. The third BPRD Vampire came out. The new New Avengers came out, and I haven't read that one yet, but it's probably on my high up on the ones that I got today to read next because I really enjoy that series. Um, the Adventure Annual came out today. A bunch of annuals came out today, actually, but I think that's the only one I picked up. The New Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles came out today. The number one Adventures of Superman came out today, which that movie um, is coming out soon, the Man of Steel movie. It comes out on the 14th of June, so that comes out soon, so why not release a Superman comic right before it? This is actually the first Superman comic I've ever bought, like, from the beginning, so we'll see how I like it. I haven't read it yet, but I'm I'm excited. Um, the new Justice League of America came out today. The new Injustice came out today, which I was really surprised. A lot of people read this, apparently. Like, I was in the comic book store today, and, like, five people were in there, which was really busy for my small store and they were all like talking about it like they all either added it to their poll or they were just like discussing it or it was in their poll like it's apparently it's a really it's a very popular title at least in this area which I didn't expect um I just kind of got it because you know it was based on the video game and I don't know I just thought it would be interesting I, I've liked what I've read I just didn't think you know that it would be so popular where I'm from here. So I don't know if it's popular where you guys are or if you guys read it, but apparently around here where I am, maybe there's something in my water, I don't know, but apparently The Injustice Gods Among Us is a very popular title, so maybe it'll go on for a while. We'll see. I'm not sure now that the video game's been released and it's still going on, I don't know how closely it's going to follow any of that story. Um, I haven't played the game, so I don't, I'm not really sure, but we'll see, I guess. Um, the new Morbius, The Living Vampire, came out today, which is one of my favorite titles at the moment, so I'm excited about that. Um, the new My Little Pony micro-series featuring Fluttershy came out today. Um, the new Savage Wolverine. The new Uncanny X-Force. It came out today. And then finally, the new Avenging Spider-Man. So, once again, one of the few weeks where there's no Ultron titles. Um, another thing that came out today was The Wake, which I had to order. They didn't carry it, which I really thought they would, which is why I didn't order it, but they didn't. So I had to order it. Um, I may download it digitally before it comes in, but I want the paper, the book copy. I don't read a lot of things exclusively digital. So we'll see how that goes. Other things that came out today, the annual for Batman the Dark Knight came out, um, the annual for... See the other annual, like Batman related type annual. I don't remember what it's called now. It's been a long time. But that came out. Um, the new X Men and, or Wolverine and the X Men came out today. And just a few other things. It wasn't like a huge day for comics, but I still ended up with way too many. Um, some of the things that came out in the past that I just got today um, the. Is it the fall? The fall of the House of Usher. Um, I got the first Dream Thief, which I haven't read that one yet, but I remember I was really looking forward to it. I finally got the 100th issue of Invincible. This came out a while ago, and for some reason, they just weren't sending it, and then it was, like, on back order, and then they, like, reordered it, and I don't know, but I finally got it today, so I'm excited, because now I can read it and the other Invincibles that I have after that. Um, Mr. X, it came out a while, a few weeks ago. And then I got the first movement. And then I did a, a review a few weeks ago on the 26th issue of Morning Glories. It was the first issue in season two, which is kind of weird for comic books. But 
I, I don't know, I, I did a review, a lot of people asked me to do it because they were thinking about starting it. I did a review, I didn't really like what I read necessarily, it wasn't that it was bad, it was just confusing and for being a good starting point I, I didn't really agree with that and I don't really know why they, they said that it was. Um, a lot of the people that I know that read it kind of agreed with me that hadn't that hadn't read it before, but I got a couple people that had contacted me and were like, please like give it a chance, like it's not horrible, like this is what it's about, this is why you should read it, this is why we read it. So I decided to give it a chance. Um the trade was on sale for like ten dollars, so I had the guy at the comic book store order it for me. So I have the first volume one of Morning Glories. Um it is Maybe this is not, this is not what I wanted apparently. This is 13 through 19. He ordered me the wrong thing and I just now figured that out. But maybe I'll read it because it, I don't know. Volume 3 though and he was supposed to order me the first one. Hmm, I'll have to go back tomorrow and ask about that. Nice of me to just now look at it. But yes, this definitely says 13 through 19. But I am giving it a shot, and now that I have number three, I feel like I'm obligated to read all of the other ones. So, thank you, comic book store guy, for now forcing me to read your stuff. But for a trade, this is a really thick, thick, um, trade. I'm kind of impressed with it, um, actually. But, I will read that, um, later on once I get the other two. I might look on Amazon tonight and see if they have those. But that's going on in the new comic book thing. Um, I have a bunch of reviews that I'm going to do this week. I'm going to do a review for Revival. I started that this weekend and I was really excited about it. I have, I've read up till issue number 7 and I don't have issue number 7 so I can't, I can't finish it which is kind of a bummer. But I started reading that and then I want to do one. I got this comic at a store in St. Louis a week ago. It's 12 Reasons to Die, which I got it. it. It looks interesting, but it's it's like based off of a rap album, which I am not somebody that listens to rap at all. Um, I just kind of saw like Ghostface Killa on a on like a thing, and I was like, that sounds like a rapper. Like I'm going to search that. So it is. Um, I read it and I, I kind of enjoy it, so I'm going to do a re review on that. There's a couple others. I'm probably going to just tomorrow just sit down and just do a bunch of comic reviews. So if there's a lot of videos uploaded tomorrow, I'm very sorry. You don't have to watch them all in one day, but if you watch them eventually. Um, I think I have a few other things. I don't know that I'll review anything that I got yesterday or today. If there's anything that was in my stack that you want me to review, um, let me know and I will. But I don't think I have anything planned on today. Um, last week also I mentioned my big story of the day was this guy that came in with all these old comics at the comic book store. I didn't get a chance to go back to see, you know, what else he brought. So today I made sure to ask the go the comic book guy, which he was there early, which was good for me because normally I don't see him whenever I go in at the time I go in, whenever I have to work on Wednesdays. But he was there today, just randomly. And he said that the guy never came back, so he hasn't seen, he had like six long boxes full of like old comics, like the first Amazing Spider-Man and then like all the old Avengers and all of that. Like he said he had like six long boxes full of like all kinds of old comics like that and he was going to bring them all in and he, sh he has it. I don't know if he's going to end up coming back. I'm not even sure if this guy was like a local guy or just some guy, but I'm not really sure, but... The guy was kind of sad, and I think I'm kind of sad about it too, just because I wanted to look through the boxes and see what was in it myself. But he's still hoping that he comes back, and he's he's like totally willing to pay the guy. He's like, if he comes back in, he'll have like a life changing check waiting if he has all that kind of good stuff. So, if for some reason this guy watches this vlog, you should definitely go back to Midgard because I want to see your stuff, and so does everybody else. So I was even prepared. I was like going to make a video on it just so that everyone had it. But he did not come back. Um, if you notice, I have this little bunny here sitting on my lap. I went to Memphis this weekend. I didn't go. I was gonna go to a comic book store and just buy a bunch of old stuff to um, start doing my Thursday reviews. And they, I got there on Saturday, and it was too late. Like all of the stores had already closed, so 
I didn't get a chance to go to a comic book store, which was kind of sad because I, I like the stores in Memphis. They're they're fun. So I'm gonna have to I don't know make a trip to another store in another town around here, um, because my store's old collections just they're not it's not like completely amazing and a bunch of it I don't think you guys would be interested in me reviewing on Thursdays. So I'm going to do that. I have a few things lined up, but I don't really have anything specific yet. But I made this bunny at Build-A-Bear, and his name is Norton, which is, yes, he was named after Mike Norton, but it's because Mike Norton is from Memphis, and Norton is from Memphis. So, there's the name. He is, his last name is um, Cordova, which is, like, the area where he was made. So, he is going to be my little help helper bunny today. Um, it's late now, and so this is over, but Colin Bunn did a signing today at Newcastle Comics in St. Louis. He is from St. Louis, and I really like, he does um, work on, like, the New Defenders and all that kind of stuff. So if you guys read any of his stuff, he did a signing today in St. Louis. So if you guys are from St. Louis, you should have definitely went. I wish I could have gone, but I had to work, and so I couldn't go, and so I was kind of a sad panda, but... I will get him eventually, I'm sure. So that's happening. Um, it is 50 days until Comic Con. And like I've said, I am going to that. I don't know, I haven't heard of anybody else that I know that's going. So if any of you guys are going, you know, let me know. Let me know if you're excited. I'm excited. Um, if you're not going, I'm sorry. I, a lot of people aren't, like, it was really hard to get tickets to I really don't know, like, I, I seriously lucked out, like, it, it was crazy, like, I don't know, they had, like, software problems and all kinds of stuff, so I completely lucked out, like, I did not expect to even get tickets, but I did, so I'm going, and I'm very excited about it, and it is in 50 days, so, I don't know, I'm just, I'm really excited about that. Um, my cupcakes for today right here. Um, I am going to give this littlest one to the Echo series by Terry Moore. I recently, I started reading that on the way to Memphis and I really enjoyed it. I haven't read the entire thing, I've just read the first trade, but I really like it and I can't wait to see what else happens. I believe that series is not going on anymore if I read correctly. I looked it up today and it was like the complete Echo series you can buy on Amazon for like thirty dollars. So I don't, I don't think that it's going on anymore. But I, I could be wrong. I'm very sorry. If if you guys read that series, you know, let me know if I'm wrong. I kind of hope that I am because it is a really good series. But I'm, I'm thinking that it's, I'm probably right about that. Um, this one is going to go to the Injustice series because apparently it is very popular, at least around here, and I think that that is awesome. Um, a lot of video game comics don't necessarily do good. It's kind of like how the video games based on comics don't always necessarily do well either. So I like it whenever, you know, the video game does good and the comic does good. Like, it's a win-win for everybody. And then this one is going to go to the first X-Men that came out today. It, I read it and I really enjoy it. If For a first issue, it, you know, it, it told me the right amount of information to make me want to read more. Um, it, it is out today. Um, if you guys are interested in it, I would definitely suggest going to get it. It seems like it's going to be interesting. It kind of, the, a brief, I guess, history of it is these two, like, organisms or twins. One grows up and, like, expels the other one and it, she grows up in, like, a parallel universe with, like, other bacteria and he comes to Earth and, like, takes human forms and then... I don't know, the X-Men get involved because they're the only ones that are able to ward off the new bacteria that has come to Earth for revenge on her twin brother. So, I don't know, it seems it seems interesting, it's very out there, but I like the artwork and, I don't know, the story is a little bit more interesting than I make it sound and it's not as confusing as that. But, um, read reviews, I probably won't do a review on it unless you guys just want me to because it's a major title and there's going to be like a thousand reviews and I don't know, I just, I don't like to do like really, really major title reviews. But, 
that's all I have for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed Norton. And make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. And you can leave a comment on any of the stuff that I've talked about. Or just subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So that is all I have for you guys today. I will see you next week. Bye!